Hello and welcome to bhavanjani.com. My name is Bhavan and today we will look at how to import photos into Lightroom. Lightroom CC. I have the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription which gives me access to Photoshop and Lightroom and I am a fan of this subscription model. If you are going to be editing photos on a regular basis, I strongly recommend that you go for this subscription. So now let's get started. How to import photos into Lightroom CC. Open Lightroom from your desktop. I already have it open and minimized. Uh, when it opens, it usually goes into the library module. If not, click the library module. There are a couple of ways to import photos. Uh, the first one is to say go to the menu item file, go a little down further and you will come to import photos and video. It also has a keyboard shortcut which says shift command i for a mac and shift control i for a windows machine. So when you click it, it opens up a new uh, import window. However, we will look at a simpler way to import photos. So let's click cancel and go back. And as the center of the screen says, click the import button to begin. On the left bottom, you have a button which says import and that's the fastest way to import photos, which is what I usually use. So click import. And once again, it opens up the same window that opened a little earlier. This window can be divided into four different sections or panels. We have something on the left hand side which says select a source. We have a panel on the right hand side which is related to where you want to store photo. Then there is another panel at the top and then we have the large screen, open screen at the center. Let's look at an example of how to import photos. It says select a source. Uh, the photos that I want to import are on my desktop which is in the SSD boot drive. I'll go to users, Bhavin Jani, that's me and select desktop. Photos to import. So the moment I select it, all the photos in this folder appear in the center screen. These are previews of those images. I can choose to import all the photos or select only a few. So I'll go down here and say uncheck all and suppose if I want to import just these two, these are the two that I'll select or I can check all and if this is one photo which I do not want to import, I can uncheck it. This can be achieved by using this checkbox, unselect, select all photos. Here I'll be select, importing all the photos. On the right hand side, it says apply during import and file handling. Apply during import. If you want to have, perform any edits to the photos as they get imported, you can select them from here. And when you select the drop down menu, it will give you a list of all the Lightroom built in presets. I would suggest leave it blank for now. Same for metadata. If you want to apply any metadata to the photos as they get imported, you can do that here. I do have a set of metadata items, especially the copyright, you can select none. If you want to enter any key keywords, so this is a couple shoot, I could say right couple, wedding, so that these two keywords get attached to these photos. For now, I'll leave it blank. And then look at the top option, which says file handling, build previews. It has a few options. I would suggest leave it on minimal for now. Build smart previews, let it be unchecked. Don't import suspected duplicates. This is something you may want to keep checked because you don't want to end up importing duplicate images. Ignore the rest for now and you're good to go. Click import on the bottom right. The photos from the folder that we identified on the desktop will get added to the Lightroom library. But suppose that we are importing photos from a hard disk which is external to the computer. In such a case, we may want to use the option move and not just add. So when we select move, a few more panels open up. Why? Because we need to select the destination on our local hard disk or on any other hard disk where we want to move these photos to. So when you drop it down, it gives you a set of options where you can move your photos to. So let's create a folder and I'll create it on the on my desktop itself. I go to desktop and I create a new folder which says imported photos. Choose. 
and something new which has opened up is the file renaming option so while importing photos it's always a good idea to rename your photos to something more meaningful than just the number that the camera generates i like to add the name of the location i also like to add my own copyright to it and you can add anything else that you can help you understand the context of the shoot just by looking at the file name in this case i'll leave it as is now suppose you are copying photos from the camera card directly in that case the photos will not move from there but you will have to use the option copy copy and move are the same except that in copy it creates a separate copy to the folder that you have selected when you use move it moves them from original location to the location that you have designated and then the last option which is copy as dng it does exactly what copy does except that it converts the format the raw format into a dng format i usually use the copy as dng option and i do have a structure where i store my images which are linked to lightroom and i also have a specific file naming convention so all of these fields are updated as i import photos so once you've selected your relevant options you identify your source location you have chosen how you want to copy or move them and you have identified your destination and your file naming convention go ahead and select import the progress of import is shown by this bar on the top left the photos got imported fairly fast but since they've been converted into a different format called dng it's probably taking a little longer and it gives a message six photos were converted to dng now that you have your photos in lightroom you can probably organize them in different ways you can rate them you can color code them or you can flag them each of these are different ways to help you categorize them so for example if i use star ratings to identify my photos the best ones from the not so good ones i can i probably say this is a nice photo let me rate it as a 3 star uh, this probably is not such a nice photo um i'll probably rate it a 2 star mm, a 2 star and this is probably my favorite photo this is a 3 star um 2 star 2 star so this is one way to organize photos if we get rid of this ratings and that can be done by select the photo tab zero on your keyboard zero zero if you just are clear about what you want to keep and delete the rest you can use the flagging method which says pick unpick and reject so if i like this photo i'll select this flag here and you can see it has been flagged the keyboard shortcut for this is p so if i want to pick this one i'll select it and press p on my keyboard maybe i don't like this so much i'll reject it the same can be achieved by pressing x on your keyboard with this you have now learned how to import photos into lightroom how to give them a star rating and also how to pick and reject them well go ahead and start importing your images now please like this video and subscribe to my channel it's your love that keeps me going if you have any queries regarding this tutorial or about lightroom and photography in general write it in the comment section below and i'll respond to you at the earliest meanwhile please check out other tutorials on youtube by me bye for now and you have a great day